Good morning, I just wanted to chat. I didn't record much yesterday. We're working on our vlogging skills. <laughs> I totally got sucked into my work. Um, also went to the orthodontist, that went fine. Um, but I wanted to show you some of the things I've been working on slash have finished. Um, so I blocked my newborn vertebrae. I believe at the beginning of this vlog, I was kind of showing working on it. It's so tiny and so cute now that it's blocked. Isn't this so cute? Have I shown this? I think I showed it before I blocked it. But it's now done and it's so teeny. So I'm gonna show this in the next podcast, but then this is getting mailed. I love it so much. It's so tiny and so cute. So I finished that. Um, I really liked working on this, it was really easy. Um, probably still not my favorite. I think for the next, um, baby stuff, it'll be like a DK though. But it's so cute. Um, but then I did start my socks. I actually didn't start them at the orthodontist yesterday like I had planned to. I started them this morning. Um, so I'm doing a 64 stitch sock and... Still on the ribbing. So this is good now for meetings that I may have. And I split this into two 50 gram cakes so that they will be equal socks. I think what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna do cuff down, like I mentioned yesterday. And I'm unsure, I might do an afterthought heel. I may just do a shadow wrap heel. We'll decide when I get there. But that's as far as I am with those. And then I started an oversized Seasons cardigan by Ozetta. Uh, I started it a few evenings ago and now I'm kind of at the point where it's not super... Definitely takes a lot of brain power to do the setups. Um, I would not say this is a beginner pattern. But this is where I'm at. Ta-da! So you start with this like neck band and you knit down and down and now I am working back and forth. It's a half fisherman's rib cardigan which is nice so you don't purl on the wrong side. It's all knitting on the wrong side and then like a half fisherman's on the front so it's like a knit purl but you knit into the rib below to do half fisherman's rib. And so you knit the band on smaller needles so I have those on my blue chow goose and then the back panel is on bigger needles so that's on my normal chow goo and then my other short over here. I think in the pattern she calls for DPNs but I don't have DPNs so I just used my small circulars to do those. I'm really enjoying this. Um, there is a bit of like do this increase while at the same time doing this increase. But the nice thing with the Row Counter app, which is an app, um, it's literally called Row Counter, but you can import your patterns. But then you can link your counters together. So I can, and set up reminders. So it's like, I can just increase my rows. And then when I'm supposed to do that raglan increases, it will tell me. And then on the rows where I'm supposed to do the button band increases, it will also tell me. And if there's a row where I'm supposed to do both, it tells me both. So I've got that row counter all set up. So it's nice and easy. But I love this texture. This yarn is Fisherman's Wool from Lion Brand. I've got this color. <laughs> I got it from Joann's because they had a, the yarn was 25% off. And then they had 25% off your purchase. So each ball of Fisherman's Wool was like $8. Um, and I really wanted to start a new cardigan. 
and so I went and bought this. Even though I have yarn in my stash, I wanted like a nice taupey color and I just wanted something fresh and exciting. So I have started that and I'm really enjoying working on it. I just wanted a really nice cardigan. I also got buttons which I'd have to get up to show you. Let me let me get them. So the pattern calls for four buttons. So I got two different options because they are buy three, get three free. And I had already, I needed five buttons, I think. And they come in these two packs. And so I had to buy three. So I just picked up another three. But this is one of the options. It's like, uh, yeah, you see like the basket weave texture. And then these ones are like a bigger texture. So they're both like a dark brown kind of color. But I thought with the Half Fisherman's Rule would look really nice. So I bought some buttons. <laughs> so I'm very happy about that. Also, if you guys don't know this, I didn't know this. I had to look it up. Joanne's return policy has no time limit. So as long as you have your online order number for like curbside pickups or online orders or your receipt for in-store purchases, you can do a return with no time limit. Just an FYI. Anyway, that's that. Um, you can see my hair. It's in sports mode because I'm going to do a workout after my next meeting. But I just wanted to check in with you guys this morning. Um, today's another work from home day. Um, I'll take you along with me a little bit more. Honestly, I'm a pretty boring person. I spend a lot of time at home. We walk Sherlock and some we cook. <laughs> That's basically my life. So let's start the day, shall we? just saw me check out for the MCAL. <sighs> Guys, I've been debating about this since he released it because it's like a gradient. It's going to be like similar to the vertices. And then the video came out today for the first clue of the MCAL. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this West Knits Mr. Knit Along. It started today, which means it's Thursday, the 5th. Um, so he releases a video with like how to's and then at the end of the video it shows like the first clue So literally I woke up this morning with a notification on my phone Saying, you know, Stephen West has posted a new video. So I clicked it and immediately scrolled to the end And I like how it looks So I went and looked in my stash this morning before I left for work and I was like, ah, ha, him, ho, him I was like, I don't know None of the combos I showed in like the last podcast I really like, blah, blah, blah. Went to work, did a little online yarn shopping during my lunch. Didn't really find anything I liked, so came back home. And I pulled my Stranded Dye Works fade kit that I had had. And I'm pretty sure this is my, well, I'm starting it, so we'll see. <laughs> um, so this is my color one. And if you remember, I started this to do a Vertices Unite and then I ripped it out when my gauge changed. This is color two. <coughs> color three. 
and color four. So I'll flip it around and show it to you once I finish this little thing. So I'm sitting outside right now and I'm about to cast on. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I don't have to finish. I don't have to keep up. Um, these will definitely be showing the MCAL. So if you don't want spoilers, don't watch Vlogtober anymore. <laughs> Oh, let me show you these colors. So those are all of my colors together. It'll be one, two, three, four. Well, I guess I'm gonna actually read the pattern now and see, ooh, we zoomed in. Hello, hi friends. Um, so I'm actually gonna read the pattern now, see what it says. I'm not gauge swatching because it's a shawl, so it won't matter. Um, yeah. Is this a spur of the moment cast on? Kind of. Is it a little bit of FOMO? Also, yes. I don't know. I've liked my Stephen West shawls in the past. Do I wear them as much as my other ones? No. Is it a good way to use up my stash? Yes. Do I like the mystery part? Also, yes. I like the community part of it. It's really the community part that really sells me. Um, will it take away from a little bit of my garment knitting? Yeah. Do I care a ton? No, because I like shawls. So, we're excited. <laughs> uh, you can tell I'm a little tired today. Um, but anyway, okay. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna read this pattern. I'm gonna cast on. Happy Friday. I've woken up today and I have the biggest headache. So we're gonna see how today goes. Um, not much is planned today. Got a little bit of work to do. And then this evening we have our flu and COVID shots scheduled. So that'll probably make for a just relaxing weekend. But I wanted to show you the Zemcal that I started last night. I feel like I'm just like swinging and missing on some of these cast-ons that I'm doing. I like it, but I don't like the colors. I, it just feels really muddy because I have one, two, three, four colors. But because this was a fade, they really just blend together. So I'm really feeling like I'm just going to rip this out. Um, I'm going to look again at some of those colors in my stash, but I feel like I really have three that go together and not a fourth. I think this pattern really just lends to really solid colors and maybe this is just the universe telling me not to do this knit along. I mean, I always can just not do it now and if I really love what the direction it goes, I can like invest and look at some other colors. Cause I really want to do like a brown with like a rusty red and orange, like a really autumnal one. And I just don't have that color scheme in my stash right now. Also after I started this, I was thinking back to my other mystery knit alongs. And I feel like a lot of my shawls are like this greeny yellowy combo. So, 
this cat loves rub it on this tripod. So I think, I don't know, we're just gonna let that simmer <laughs> and not worry about it. But I do wanna show you my oversized seasons cardigan. I worked on it a little this morning and this I am loving. It just feels so meditative because it's basically like a ribbing and then knitting. It's so squishy and lovely and this I just love. So this is the wrong side. But I love the little like button band that you're working with it and this is so squishy. I love the color. I think it's just going to be such a nice classic. And like I said, this is Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. And I love this. So this I'm really loving. But I also like, I really want to make another Sophie shawl and I have a couple of different options in my stash that I've been wanting to do a Sophie shawl with. And I really want to make some like hats. And both of those could fit in some knit alongs that are happening right now. Kim and Jana are doing a petite knit knit along so I could do the Sophie shawl for that. And then Pearl Soho is doing a classic ribbed beanie knit along and I want to make some of those. So part of me is thinking to not continue on with the Stephen West MCAL because I still have my Attune shawl on the needles. And I'm feeling good right now with the amount of projects that I have. I'm not feeling too overwhelmed. I feel like I can make some good progress. They're all holding my attention. But I do want to start a Sophie shawl. So we may just be change of course. But anyway... I'm going to start work. I'm hoping I can kick this headache and we'll see where the day goes. I'm wearing one of my favorite sweatshirts today. It's snails and it says there's no rush. I got it really big and oversized because I wanted it super comfy cozy. This is by a YouTuber, Allison Pages. She does booktube. Um, I love her stuff. So I bought this because I love the snails and it's a good reminder. So there's no rush. We're just going to take each day and each moment as it comes and I'm still drinking my coffee and let's see where the day goes. Mm -hmm. 